Hi, my name is Greg and I'm the pastor here at FBC Medford. Today is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. Welcome to today's FBC eConnect. Imagine this, you're watching your child's soccer team. As any parent would do, you watch your kid really closely. You notice they are not playing very well at all. In fact, they're playing terribly. At times, you wonder if your kid even knows what game is being played. Frankly, at times, you find it hard to watch. In spite of your child's performance, your team still wins. Your child skips over to you, excited about the victory, and asks, Did you see me play? Sure, you say. It was great to see your team win. I noticed that your team won because you have a player on your team that is a really good soccer player. I mean, he is, he is really good. In fact, that player was so good, your team was able to win, even though, son, you played so terribly bad that you actually put the game at risk. You are lucky to play on such a good team. Now, no parent would ever say that, I would hope. But in a sense, this is what the Apostle Paul says to the church in Corinth. Listen to what he says at the beginning of 1 Corinthians in verse 4. I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given you in Christ Jesus, that in every way you were enriched in him, in all speech, all knowledge. Paul continues a little later saying, As you wait for the revealing of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will sustain you to the end, guiltless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ, God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Why is Paul thankful about the Corinthians? Not because of them, but because of the Lord. He mentions God's grace, which means the Corinthians didn't even deserve to be among God's people. He says the gifts that the church had, they only have them because God decided to give them. Not only that, he says that they are only, their only chance of being guiltless is if God sustains them to the very end. Finally, He notes that God is the one who is faithful, so everything will be fine in the end. The Corinthians are on the team, but they only win because of their star player, Jesus. And really, this is true for all of us. We know we are on the winning team because Jesus had the victory on the cross for us. The Bible reminds us our job isn't to be the star player. Our job is to follow the star player, Jesus. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday during our time in the Word together. We'll be in 1 Corinthians 1, verses 4 through 9. I'll see you then.